Hi, I got some really great news for everybody doing sculpting or modeling or basically anything around your scene with matte caps. Yes, Blender 2.7 already had support for matte caps. They included uh, 20 by default and they all have been ported to Blender 2.8 as they were. We're gonna talk about it in a little bit. So the new matte cap is just uh, an option in the shading. So you can choose, as you can choose the flat lighting or the studio lighting, you can also choose the matte cap lighting, which is basically the same that, um, that applying the texture to the whole of the character. But they're back, of course, not the same in 2.7. They're making use of all the great stuff in 2.8, such as mixing it with other stuff. So you can um, not only mix it with like X-ray or you can use it with the shadows or you can also have cavity, like the same way the clay engine has the, it, its own engine um, that it might go away at some point. It was just a test at the beginning, but it's using now the workbench engine. It's using the cavity shader from, from there. So you can enable cavities and you can change um, some of the settings up here if they're like more uh, white just for the view, or you can also change them in the scene settings under the uh, viewport display. You have some uh, settings there for samples and everything else. But being 2.8, you can also mix it with overlays. So you can overlay things on top. You can overlay your mesh on top. You can also combine it with the outlines. But even better is that now you don't only have to see your matte caps just as they are. You can also combine them. So if you have a single white color, it's just going to look the same. But if you combine it with material, it will be applied on top of the material colors and the random, of course, the random is a star that makes it shine. It's even crazier because if you choose something like, I don't know, this one, which has a very strong rim lighting, it's just, <laughs> just interesting the results that you can get with it. So um, if you use it white, it's just uh, gonna be like the like before, but you can also mix it. That is also a pretty interesting approach. But not only that, Blender 2.8 now supports custom matte caps. The same way the uh, Blender, um, the Workbench engine supports um, custom lighting for your world or custom HDRI, it, the same way we are um, including them before. It works the same for now. So yes, it has this workflow at the moment that you have to make the folder in your configuration for the time being, but in the end we'll have like a nice UI where you can pick it. So for the time being, you go to your 2.8 configuration, wherever we were saving the images before. If you already seen the videos uh, previous, um, it's the same place. Data files, studio lights, and then inside uh, in Word, for example, I was keeping my uh, HDR uh, images. But now if you make a folder <coughs> for matcap, for matcap, I have to, they are better matcap, so I'm using a stronger voice. You make a folder, you call it matcap, and then inside you drop whatever image you want to use as a matcap. So in this case, I um, just Google for something, for this website from Ben Simmons. He has this file that put on, on BlendSwap to, to generate uh, matcaps. And I just pick one of them. I just pick this one. And I happen to have it right here. So if I paste it on this uh, folder matcap and I close and open Blender again for the time being, this should be a much uh, simpler workflow. So you save the, the, you don't need to save the file. You just oh, reopen Blender and it should show up here in the list. So now you can have your own custom matte caps. So yes, and it works just the same. It will combine with the rest. You can combine it with X-Ray. You can play with the, well, of course, if the X-Ray is zero, but um, it's just, uh, yeah. It's so flexible right now. You can find it with the cavity. The possibilities are endless. So since the possibilities are endless and the matcaps in 2.7 were, we had mixed feelings around it. Some of them were like really useful. Some of them were really popular. Um, if you should see them, um, uh, if you see some screenshots of people sculpting, usually they use this one, or they might use some of this, but also they might make, your, make their own. So since now it's so easy to test them, to try them, we would like to upgrade, update, upgrade, because it's a whole new refresh, the matcaps in 2.8. 
So we are making a call, a call for content in the uh, DevTalk uh, forum. You can find the link in the description. But basically, it's just a thread where you can go, we can read the specifications. The main thing is that it should be your own creation. You have to make your own. You can't, uh, shouldn't download from somewhere. You have to release it as a CC0, so a public domain. So it means we, yeah, the matcaps are public domain. Everybody can do whatever they want with it. So Blender can be distributed with the same license. Um, a size, I think 512 or 512 is okay size. So in the future we can, uh, the, the current ones in Blender are super small, but the idea is that they can be future proof. The same way why we are asking them to be 16-bit EXRs, so that way we can, uh, in the future, um, we can downsample them and uh, make sure they don't have any banding. Some of the ones here in Blender had a <laughs> weird the banding, their small files, so yeah, they are they need to be upgraded. So yes, the way you share it, you just leave a comment here. Um, there is uh, there are instructions here. So I leave the AXR, a picture of the matcap itself, and a screenshot of this character with your matcap on. So that way we can all compare it how it's going to look in the, uh, in, the in the same model. So of course you can also share with your own models, but uh, it's good that we all share the same. It's a, it's a very small file. It's a 58 megabytes. You can find it on Blender.org. It's a the great file by Emiliano Colantoni. So. Yeah, pretty, pretty exciting. New matcaps for everyone. It's uh, custom matcaps too. So the idea maybe not to replace all 20, maybe we can even get rid of some of them, have like 10 really good ones, and then people can add their own. So this list doesn't get uh, huge, gigantic. So the amount of matcaps uh, right now is unlimited. You can add as, as many as you want. But of course, the more you have, the more Blender has to load. But that is all for well. That's that's a big uh, that's a big news. The custom matcaps has been around for like the, the people asking for it has been around forever, and it's something so um, so basic when you want to model your own and see your own uh, models in different lighting. So it was just natural that 2.8 will have it, and there it is. Download Blender from the Billbot and uh, download this file. Play around with your matcaps and. Uh, share it with the world. If you can find the file uh, in the link, you can just also go to blender.org slash 2.8. In the try it yourself, you'll find it right there. So that is all for now. Just go and play around. I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao.